Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The comedian Lonnie Love has been getting a lot of criticism on social media for some of her comments on the talk show, The Real. She first got some backlash for criticizing Portia Williams from the reality show Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you don't know, Portia was dealing with a lot of struggles in her relationship. Her fiance, Dennis, cheated on her while she was pregnant with their child. But even after he cheated on her, Portia is still deciding to marry Dennis. Now the co-host from The Real did talk about this on their show and Lonnie Love made a joke saying that Portia is staying with Dennis because she wants to have another reality show. Portia trying I, don't, to get, I don't understand. Let me tell you something. Portia okay. trying to get that reality show. That's what that is. All right. Uh, why y'all up here? I would be intrigued to watch it because it makes for good TV. It makes for good TV. And what if she's planning on like maybe getting him all the way up to the altar and then leaving his ass? Oh, and then, yeah. Know. So that was Lonnie's comments about Portia. And honestly, I didn't see anything wrong with what she said. I thought it was quite funny. And Lonnie is up there for comedic relief. So it wasn't really all that serious, but Portia felt a way about it. And she called Lonnie out on Instagram. She said this, B F you fake a don't run up smiling when I see you. Somebody said, take this down sis, you so above this. And Portia said, I will after she see it. Thanks. Lonnie commented and said, Portia, I didn't say anything bad about you and you know it. It was a lighthearted comment. I hope you get your show. Hashtag comic. Now, I will say this once again, I didn't really think what Lonnie said was bad. She was just joking. And honestly, she's keeping it real. I do believe that Portia and Dennis might get another reality special when they get married. So it's not outlandish to say that Portia will be trying to get another show because I definitely believe she will. But at the same time, I don't think she got back with Dennis for the sole purpose of getting another reality show. Portia does have a daughter and she wants to give her daughter a fair chance at having a family so that's probably why Portia got back with Dennis but I don't think Lonnie's statements should have triggered that type of response from Portia because Lonnie was just joking and Portia should know when a joke is a joke Portia is on Dish Nation and she jokes about celebrities all the time so I think she was being a little too sensitive that's just my personal opinion and here's a rule of thumb here if you're making commentary on other celebrities you shouldn't get in your feelings when somebody makes commentary on you and this brings me to talk about some of the comments that some of the co-hosts on the reel made towards black bloggers and youtubers you know the same bloggers that they get some of their information from they're now downing them because they feel like their sources aren't legitimate and also they don't like the fact that youtubers like me talk about them <laughs> now i find this funny because they talk about other people on their show too and they use some of the same sources we use in fact they were given their two cents on porsche's relationship as well so i don't understand why they get mad at black youtubers and bloggers for talking about some of the same things that they talk about but i do have to give lonnie love credit for being the only one at the table who defended instagram bloggers and youtubers because she knows that the show gets pressed when we talk about them now i'm gonna play what they actually said right here yeah and why are we so quick to empower blogs and online news media that people start themselves without any credibility you go on YouTube, you see so many Terrible. stories about each Terrible. and every one of us. They're so far from the truth. So but what funny. really sucks is they've got like million to two million views. Mm. Shouldn't it somewhat be illegal yeah. to be a source without them saying who you are? I feel like if you feel bold enough to speak up about it, let your yeah, name yeah. be known. Yep. Say who you are. Who is source? That seems so cowardly. Well, you to can me. hit the. Uh, it's just cowardly. You can, you can hit the person that is um, reporting the source. Mm -hmm. I do think that there are some good blogs, and I think that there are some bad blogs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. For and I know I can only speak for I think um, people of color blogs. For a long time, we weren't allowed into mainstream white media. Like we don't get picked up a lot. Like. Shout out to people.com because y'all picked up. Okay, Magazine, 
can be, yes. you know what I mean? But it's like, we one do I need respect. press. In order to keep our show on, That's right. we need press. So I can't dog all, all the blogs, right. but there are some blogs who's just ridiculous. And Chuck, sometimes and we, negative. you have to stand up and you have to say, okay, this is ridiculous. Yes. You know, and That's tell right. us who your sources are. Yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but I don't want to diss all sources. blogs. I do appreciate the fact that Lonnie took up for some of the black blogs out there. And she's absolutely right. Nobody would be talking about the real if it weren't for the blogs or if it weren't for YouTubers. So I don't think they should look at us as the enemy. Now, I do understand that they may not like some of the stories that we report on them, but at the end of the day, we are promoting their show and we are talking about them. So I don't think they should take any of this to heart. I still like all of the ladies on the reel. I like Tamara, I like Jeannie, I like Adrian, and I like Lonnie. I think they're all talented and they make a great show, but sometimes there is drama surrounding their show and and I have to talk about it. Which leads me to my next topic. Now the Jasmine brand actually caught footage of Lonnie and Jeannie almost clashing during one of their discussions. If you don't know the backstory about this, they were talking about a woman by the name of Shannon Boudram, who also goes by Shan Booty on YouTube. And she is a sex educator and she's also an advocate for sexual health. And she's an author who gives advice on love and relationships. Now in her book called The Game of Desire, she talked about a assisting somebody on a date and using cue cards to help them get through the date. When the ladies of The Real talked about this on their show, Lonnie made some pretty controversial statements and she almost clashed with Jeannie. Watch this. Even go as far as to like secretly watch you while you're on your date. Oh, she'll have cue cards to tell you what to say. She might even give you a makeover before you go on this date so you look your cutest. Um, yeah, so, so that they, she highlights their best attributes, so, oh, what? T-shackle. I'll tell you, what she she's, not white. She's, not white. she's not white. She's not white. She's not white. What is she? She's not white. 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 She's mad cool. She's actually on my I didn't podcast. say that she was a bad person. She's not okay. white. Let me check you right there. No, I didn't wait. say she was a bad Mommy, person. she's not white. I said that you she... You just said that she was white. She's she ain't all the way black, is she? Since when did the percentage make you... She's biracial. I can do that. That ain't part she's white. Kidding. And I believe that's part of her whiteness coming out. Because black people ain't going on no dang off. Tell us something. Here, hold this. She has a really big... She has a really big follow. Hey, I found her on Instagram. You guys, that's great. Ain't nobody saying that. What I'm saying is, this girl right here is biracial. Yeah. Okay? Hi. She's part black and she's part white. Okay? There are some aspects that I know are her white aspects. There are some aspects that are her black aspects. And I have a right to say, I feel like this person is the white aspect is coming out when you taking them on a date, holding a car, and telling them, say this. Now, Lonnie was out of pocket for this. I do believe she was joking, but her joke really didn't go over. So she had to force it and she ended up sounding ignorant and she made some offensive comments in the process. Now, Shannon is not white or biracial. She's actually multiracial. Her father is of Indian descent and her mother is white and black. And also both of her parents are from Caribbean countries. She did say her father is Guyanese and her mother is Dominican. So she grew up being familiar with the West Indian culture. And none of this really matters, but it's just to educate people. Just because a person is biracial or mixed doesn't automatically mean they're mixed with white and black. They could be mixed with more than that. But besides that point, her race has nothing to do with the topic at hand. So it was very odd and awkward for Lonnie to make that statement. And Shannon did respond to Lonnie. And this is what she said. I just come to this awesome place in my life where I realized the only negative opinion that can hurt me or destroy what I've built is my own. I don't know why. I'm not crying because of this one situation. I think it's just like I'm exhausted. You know, I'm exhausted throughout. I mean, that's just it. I put out a book. You do what you do to push that book forward. And sometimes through that pushing, certain messages get brought to the forefront and people form opinions and people have every right to form an opinion just the same way that I encourage everybody to look for the love life and the sexual life that fits them best. You gotta find the educators that fit you best. You have every right 
to not think somebody fits in line with what your values are. And so people aren't gonna like me and that is fine. Um, I was so focused on my experience or my pain or even comments like Lonnie's really would have made me feel a certain way blanketly before. Whereas in now I'm like, that's one person's opinion, um, one old outdated, kind of sad opinion that I don't think majority of people share or express. Um, so I think that this is an opportunity for this host to look at herself and be like, that was so lame of me. So that was just a snippet of Shannon's response to Lonnie and she has her full response on her YouTube channel. So check it out. Lonnie did end up addressing the backlash she got and this is what she said. You know, the thing is, is that just like we make black and white jokes, everybody on this table makes black and white jokes on this, but it just I depends on it. how you do it. Yeah, <laughs> it just depends on how you do it. And the thing is, for me personally, I never try to say something that's hateful. Any joke that I've said on this show has been said out of love. It's not out of hate, but people just have to loosen up. I'm sorry, I have to disagree with Lonnie because the joke she made wasn't out of love, it was out of ignorance. And I know she was trying to be funny at first, but it just wasn't received that way, and she got defensive. So that was just one of those jokes that fell flat. Lonnie is funny, but sometimes she misses the mark, and she missed the mark here. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.